What up, y'all? Welcome to the channel, man. Let's just get right into it, man. I got to have your opinion on this thing, man. APS, the Albuquerque School Districts, man, they are under fire today. Well, it's been like over a week. Parents are outraged, and I'm just going to read it verbatim because I don't want to mess this up, all right? The Albuquerque Public School District has replaced Artis Artrisco Heritage Academy Principal Irene Cineros with interim Principal Anthony Lovato. This comes after the controversy at the Trisco Heritage Academy 2024 prom featuring a drag queen at the event. I'm going to read that again. This comes after the controversy at the Trisco Heritage Academy 2024 prom featuring a drag queen at the event. It caused many parents to be outraged that this event was even allowed. Well, it says it caused many parents to be outraged that this was even allow at the event, but you know, the way we read in American education, I'm a victim of it. But anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, man, but this is crazy. I actually have, vi I have some video of it, so I'm going to show you right now. Video of a drag performance at a high school prom has some Albuquerque parents and students outraged. Meanwhile, the performer seen in that video says he was just invited to be there, and now he's getting flooded with online threats. Tonight, we have a look at the video that is fueling this controversy. We're saying, wow, you should have seen what we experienced at prom. Prom, it's a night where students get to let loose and celebrate. At most proms, you might find a DJ or a live band, but at a Trisco Heritage Academy senior prom on Saturday, wow. the entertainment was not what many students and parents expected. A performer in drag invited to the dance. <laughs> The performer was filmed dancing and lip syncing and dancing individually with students. That video has since gone viral and it has sparked controversy. Parents we spoke to called the dancing lewd and inappropriate for a teenaged audience and are wondering how it was approved by the school. Something like this should, is not appropriate for a high school event. Something like this should be for adults. What did they think they were going to get out of it? Like, that's so inappropriate. News 13 spoke with a performer over the phone today who expressed anger over the online and media attention but declined to go on camera with us. He told us he was invited, not hired to perform. He also told us since the video has blown up on social media, he has received numerous death threats and his employer has received threats as well. It is not clear tonight who approved that performance. Albuquerque Public Schools emailed a letter to parents earlier today saying the school district is investigating what happened and how students were impacted. They add this is a personnel matter and no other information is available, they say, at, the, at this time. So my first part, thought about that was like, man, it's crazy because I didn't know it was a high school at first, man. I want to know you guys' thoughts in the comments, man. Should this, even, this situation even be as big as it is? I mean, I had to put my personal beliefs about things when it comes to like, you know, the LGBT community aside because, um, and think of a learn a, a term of, are high school kids, you know, already seeing this? Are they already exposed to this? And at this age of high school, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, even though when we grew up, we never saw it. You can go to high school now and, you know, when I pick up my kid from high school, you can see, you know, trans transgender males and females, um, now, shit, this has been allowed without, you know, proper, you know, permission from the parents, because I doubt parents will allow this, especially in the in the state that we're in as far as acceptance, because we still got a long way to go. We've came a long way, but we have a long way to go. Um, me personally, even with my beliefs, I don't think I would assign or give permission for my kids to be exposed to that even in high school, because I just think that that's something that you do as an adult, and that's something you expose yourself as an adult to make that type of decision. Um, but should it be as big as it is and principal will be replaced? Well, come to find out, uh, if I don't want to show it, but you can go on certain Facebook pages for Albuquerque public schools. This was a senior prank. This was a senior prank. They hired this, this, uh, this woman to come. They knew that they were going to get in trouble, but they did not know it was going to be at this magnitude and cost teachers their jobs and principals their jobs. Um, I just wanted to know your thoughts because when I heard it and it was shown to me, I was just like conflicted of, well, I've seen transgender women and men in high school already, which is crazy, but I, I've seen it. Um, but then at the same time, I'm just like, what? 
Why is this allowed in school? So I'm conflicted as a parent, but then as a human being, I understand that this is the world we live in now, and I try to respect that. Um, it's just, it was just a, a, a shock to me that today and age that these things are still happening. So I just wanted to get your your whole. Every, I just want to get everyone's take on it because I was kind of conflicted. Of, should should I be worried about this or not necessarily worried, but like, is this a bigger deal? as the public schools are making it or parents are making it. In my opinion, it is because it wasn't get, the permission wasn't given. That was my only issue with it. It wasn't given. Now, if a poll was taken and most parents said, hey, they want this performer, obviously this must be the culture of the school, so let's make it happen, um, then cool. But to just expose other people's kids to this type of environment who they raise not to be a part of it because you got to think there are other people going to this prom whose parents are very, very, very old school, very conservative, who would not accept this, you know? And not all of us are open-minded to go, whatever, they've been exposed to worse. They're already doing things they're not supposed to do. They're already cursing. They already have. They already see transgender men and women at school every single day now, so it's no big deal. But other people are going to be like, no, I raise I raise my kids in a Christian home. I don't want my kids exposed to that. So y'all let me know in the comments what your thoughts. Uh, should this principal lose her job over this senior prank, or um, is there a bigger issue at hand with kids being exposed to this so early? To now that by the time they get to high school, it is numb to them. So let me know in the comments your thoughts, man.